Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to introduce you to Top Solid 7's Entities Manager. The Entities Manager manages everything that is created in a document the same way, regardless of who created it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up an assembly to take a look at it. So I'm going to go to my main piston assembly here. Just double click on it and right out of the uh, project manager, the file and all associated files will be opened as needed. So here you can see we have our little piston sample. I can take and test this assembly if I like. And you can see piston goes up and down like it should. Now, here though we want to talk about our entities manager and really what it does. So on the left here you see the entities manager. Here we talk about any mechanisms that have been made or constraints for example. I can take and show all of the constraints that were applied on here. And by constraints here we're speaking of assembly mates. For example, here I have a plane on axis mate that appears to have an offset, so I can just double click on that if I want to change that offset. Maybe I want to make it, instead of 47 divided by 2, maybe I just want to make it 1 inch. And you can see like that, the change has been made. But I'm going to set it back to where it needs to be. So I can quickly just find the constraints I am looking for through the use of the Entities Manager. Uh, you also have your axes, any points or frames or planes that were created in the creation of this assembly as well. Let's maybe dig a little deeper though. Let's say that maybe we want to go and open up this file. So here, I'm going to go down to here and open that document directly. So now I have the individual part file open and we can take a little look at what it took to design this part. For example, up here we have our operations manager. These are all the different operations that transpired in order to build this model. So if I roll back, we can see where I started and it was just from a simple extrusion. From there we did a revolve shape, which is currently turned off right now, and then a Boolean operation of a union. We made some duplications, made a camera. Again, now we built the boss, added a taper and some fillets, and some chamfers and some drillings. But maybe we want to find a specific sketch, and again, we weren't the ones, or I wasn't the one that created this model, so I want to go find my sketches. So I go down here to Sketches, and just click on them, and I can use the up and down arrow keys to find the exact sketch that I want to modify, and that's the one I want to modify. So I can just right-click on here and choose Edit. Like that, I'm directly into that sketch, and maybe here I want to go make a change. So I'm just going to go add a quick little something. Zoom up here a little bit. Maybe get a little arc up there. Say OK. Let's go do some trimming. I want to keep that portion and that portion. Add a little dimension or two. Let's maybe make that 0.031. And maybe a dimension from there to there. 0.02. And then we'll dimension the length from there. And like that, the change has been made. So I can exit out of the sketch. My model is going to update as well as my assembly, my draft files, everything. But through the use of the Entities Manager, I quickly found what I was looking for, and I was able to make that modification. So like that, my little groove has been added to that sketch. If I go into my main piston assembly, you'll notice that that change has been passed along throughout. 